diplomatic immunity like we're using her. So I'm not so sure about that one, but I do think she'd question the first one, so. That's my opinion. You still have to go for the Because I mean, if I go for the first one, and she's like, oh, what's that? Maybe I should go and like, see? Mm. I'm gonna go for the first one. I don't want to be like, I'm using you. Like, I don't want to blatantly be like, I'm using you. You don't keep, you selected the first option. Yes. Well, neither of us are virgins. No, being a virgin is so last century. <laughs> He's a virgin. He's blushing. You know what that means, Liam? That we should hope being a virgin doesn't become cool. Again, since we would have to come up with a way to re-virgin ourselves. What? No, it means we're taking Miranda to the festival. Hooray! I'm overjoyed despite still not knowing what it is we're doing. Oh yes, of course. I can't wait to teach her how to complain about the sound mixing in Lino. And I can't wait to show her the Molly Pit. It's a Molly Pit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Mosh Pit. Oh. <laughs> Don't you mean the Mosh Pit? Oh, Liam, sometimes you're cute. You all ditch the rest of your classes to explain music festivals to Miranda. It takes eight hours, 12 diagrams, and an elaborate puppet show. But she finally is ready to party. You gain plus two fun and plus one creativity. Yeah, at least I'm fun. I'm not very smart, but I'm fun. It it's not fun. Uh. The shop rose in the library, so that means it's not going to have any actions. She's just going to want me to buy things. So we'll go to the bathrooms again. I live in there now. Oh, Jesus. No that day, bodies. you skip class. Intending to spend the term in the bathrooms, <laughs> but you encounter three wild hyenas on the way there. Are with you a sure? Park run security here. Anyway, you subdue them with the help of a hair comb. God bless the monster scouts and all the idiotic scenarios they prepared you for. By the time you get to the bathroom, you've totally gained plus two boldness. You are very bold. <laughs> You're minding your own business when Damien. Get out of my bathroom! <laughs> Punching <laughs> everyone who's minding their own business. Oh, this was Spike. Yeah. Was now Spike, I gotta, I gotta go. Fuck! I'm so angry. I'm so angry. I want to pull my own skull out and eat it. Um, I'm so yeah. angry. I want to set the school on fire and then punch the fire's fucking face. Seems fine. I'm so angry I want to spend years accumulating political capital so I could become president and then use my nuclear co codes to blow up the sun. Why are you so angry? You! You're standing in my way! Move before I punch you so hard. You remember with melancholy the times when you could move without all your bones hurting. Jesus. Yeah. Oh no, violence is incoming. Think fast. Max's decision, or who's start, no. start dancing? <laughs> oh, the Enigma. Yeah, that's right. Never mind. The Enigma's decision. Dance. <laughs> Are you dancing? Dance. No time to think. They start dancing for no reason. Okay. <laughs> you have no idea what to do, so you just start doing a silly dance. It is really, really silly indeed. Before you realize all your classmates have joined you in your silly little dance. Marty went from the woods to the bathroom what grate. What? You stole my party! Move! Not... Or I'll kill you dead, noob. Uh oh. But Damien, you can't deny she is actually moving. Oh, thanks. <sighs> yeah, and quite the move she has. <gasps> hmm. Clearly, even Damien can fight against logic. Maybe you should move, Damien. Don't be a loser. Yeah, and as you just said, here you move or you die. All your classmates start chanting, move or die, move or die. 
Damien, frustrated by the crazy, mindless, but joyful mob you created, finally leaves. Still, from afar, you can see an eternal fire burning in the black of, in the back of his eyes. But for now, you gain plus two boldness and plus one fun. You are a bold as fuck, woman. I know. <laughs> sir, also, why does go- dancing work for you and not me? <laughs> you you danced too early. You didn't have the boldness. <laughs> I want to go back to the library, girl, because she's kind of cute. And uh, but I have no money, though. Just compliment her. That's you, a rogue bitch. <laughs> hey, why would you study and prepare for your future when you could come here and buy some weird shit instead? Am I right? Oh, girl, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I went no money. Too poor for this. Wow. For everything. See, I'm wise enough to know when a gift needs given. Yeah. Whoa. The best prize is sharing it. What happened to you? Oh, your money! Jesus, yeah, my money, but then all my boldness is... Oh, you're negative you. one boldness. Oh no, what happened to Spike? It's because he went to bed. That night, you head to the club club with all your <laughs> coolest <laughs> friends, Liam, Polly, Vera, Ace, and Onyx. I'm Unfortunately, cool. When you get up to the front of the line, the bouncer and his massive club tell you Vera and Polly are banned. Banned? What? <clears throat> Just because the last time you were here, I spiked everyone's drinks with a chimera toxin and then charged them all for the antidote? Fair. That was hilarious. It's not a crime if it's hilarious. I'm pretty sure that's how the law works. Well, just stand there, ladies. Seduce the bouncer. Use your wiles for the common good. Ew. Fucking clubs tonight and a jacket and jeans. Excuse you. Since when is it my job to use my sexuality to get you into clubs? Damn. <laughs> I totally would, but the last time I had sex with this bouncer, oh. hold on. <laughs> mm. the last time I had sex with this bouncer, I turned into his dead mom partway through uh, as a joke, and now I wow. don't think he likes me. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> <it's not>. Wow. <laughs> you could listen to those three argue all night, but you'd rather do it while drunk, so you should just the most obvious candidate. Not now, Boki. Hi, Boki. Hey, Boki. What up, y'all? We are narrating. Oh, much, buddy. Yeah, we're, we're, we're all dating, dating each other right, right now. <laughs> and there's no, no room for a fit. <laughs> I mean, he could. He could jump in as who Spike was. Which one do you want? Oh, yeah, Jingo. Right? Do you want Ace? Or oh, do you want it is. Him? That's right. Uh, let's see. It's hard to admit, but he could turn the pants off a statue and have several occasions. No kidding, I almost watched her seduce the entire population of the Maria from Orbit. Holy fuck. <laughs> I don't want to do anything. It's just, just oh, we're just Ace. here to talk to you guys. How y'all so doing? We're doing all right. Oh, yeah, we're doing good, Baki. Sorry, we're, we're playing this game called uh, Monster Prom, which we just started today. And uh, it's like we're we're uh, voice acting for different characters in the game. Did you? What Pretty did fun. you choose? Yeah, he chose Ace, right? Yeah. Horrible. Your plan, your plan is simple yet bold. You and Ace are each devast- devastatingly sexy on your own. So you hoist Ace onto your shoulders and wrap <laughs> the two and wrap the two <laughs> of you in a trench coat, effectively doubling your sexiness. The bounce All looks right. at you perplexed. Who is who is this tall trench coat wearing monster? He asks. And why does it have a face sticking out of its out of its crotch? <laughs> it suddenly draw, it suddenly dawns on you that his that this plan was unbelievably stupid. The bouncer throws you out of the line, totally uh-huh. ruining your trench coat in the process. Not the trench, trench coat. coat. Seriously, you couldn't have just tempted him with a threesome. That's what I always do, and there's only one of me. Everyone knows that trench coats are for murders, not seductions. How amateurish. 
I'm tempted to applaud your performance because everyone hates it, but it really was just very bad. Dang. It's unanimous. You and Ace <laughs> talk. You both lose negative two fun and negative one charm. I'm just uh, losing I'm completely. One. Everybody choose an object. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Plunger. A penny. A pencil. Bone. Choose out loud to the rest of the players. Bone. A pencil. A computer. Okay, here we go. Player order decided based on how good the selected object would be as your only <laughs> weapon in a battle royale situation. <laughs> Start debating now. A plunger. A plunger. A plunger <laughs> plunge <you> good. <laughs> a stabby stabby. Yeah, stabby with a pencil. pencil breaks like SpongeBob, could, though. Then you got to sharpen it. the phone at somebody and probably... You've never, seen, you've never seen the Joker and, and uh, John Wick? Yeah. Bring but I mean, what, the heaviest what it, thing if you can pick it up and say, chuck it at us. Oh yeah, he does the heaviest thing. But a computer, I can just you know like grab it and start flinging it. Uh, that is cool. Fucking shit. What do you want? Like number one. Go with the. Uh, I'm between pencil and plunger. <laughs> I just think those two are funny. Plunger is definitely funnier. I hope it makes a boyoing sound when it hits you. He just lunges like a spear. He gets plunged onto somebody. Right. Sections on the people. All right, Such so I think was first. Okay. Yours is a uh, pencil. That that will be second. In my opinion, that's second. Okay. And I agree then, with uh, that. And then <laughs> who's ever third and fourth, whichever. I mean, a phone is easier to chuck than a computer. So we'll then go you gotta on. Be it. So honestly, this is kind of <laughs> she's gonna call for backup. <laughs> who has ninety nine money? Hold up, who is this? How is he rich? Mm -hmm. What did he do? Ticket. The lottery ticket. The I thought store. the lottery went to Ace. Yeah, Ace has it because it it's spike spikes is green and Ace is orange. Is orange? Yeah, that was green ninety nine. How yeah, but it was money? it was both Ace and Splikes. Uh, yeah, Ace like sharing, caring, or something. Oh Correct. yeah, yeah. Okay. Damn, and he don't even know he's rich. Are you staying in the bathroom, Zenny? Mm. Could I borrow your library? Go for it. I want the library. Let's <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> I'm tired of Damien coming in. <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> I regret things. <laughs> That day, you spend some time in the library's PC, sending malicious spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money. It doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they respond to such blatant scam? You lose negative oh, karma, shit. which isn't a stat in this game, so who cares? And you gain plus two money. Ah, fair enough. Despite everything else happening around you, hey, it comes back. So don't. Please don't. But your mind is constantly going back I to the <laughs> <laughs> I did not deny this. Damien, and it is idiotic short temper. Please. You think it could even be your sweetheart, but he seems more focused on being angry 24 7. Can I borrow your pencil? For God's sake, <laughs> he's the kind of guy that could get angry at a banana. banana. As a matter of fact, your daydreaming is interrupted by the feral screams of Damien, who seems to be insulting an actual banana. He followed you from the back. You stupid yellow fruit, what's your deal? Do you think you're richer in potassium than me? He's broken. No one is richer in potassium than Damien fucking Levy. Is it even for real? Stupid sexy Damien. Yeah. No, you need to put a stop to this nonsense before it escalates into arson somehow. <laughs> the banana's on her. Eat the banana. <laughs> Eat the banana. Get, get rid of the evidence. You get closer to Damien in a very cool and quiet way. Huh? Why don't you mind your own business, noob? But you don't mind your business. You eat the banana instead. <laughs> what? Ah! Oh, look at Damien. He's losing his shit again. 
<laughs> yeah, he was bullying that banana. But it seems he's all bark and no bite. Not like Enigma, huh? Indeed. Enigma seems to be all bite for sure. He's hey, yo. Kind of sexy. Uh, thanks, girl. <laughs> it is alluring. Being all bite, not to bully. Bullying is never alluring, nor sexy. Through that, unless you're bullying a banana, I mean, who cares? That's just stupid. Damien is stupid. Let me get this straight. <laughs> I, I ate a banana and they were so aroused they came over to talk to me. Correct. That's exactly what happened. Heck yeah. <laughs> hashtag winners don't bully bananas. They just eat them. That's a long hashtag. Hashtag Damien is a stupid <laughs> banana bully. <laughs> Why are we talking in hashtags? Ah, not again. <laughs> again. This is it. This is the last time you dare fuck with me, you bastard. You bastard, you killed I'm banana. Coming. We're going to share a very special dance. Spoiler alert, it will hurt. Hey, oh, no. yo. I wanted to say no. I don't want to go with you. Oh, that's a prom fight on prom night. Damien versus Enigma. Instant classic. I can't believe I dated this guy. Interesting. <laughs> I might attend. Can I just give you a, a little bit of an admitting? Yeah, I have tried right. to date this guy you three times. You watch I reduce the nigga's bones into a sad, shapeless pulp. I've tried to date him three times yes! on purpose, and I'm just three like, tickets. Nope. Hashtag prom <laughs> fight on prom night. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so you led yourself to your own potential death. Nice. At least you gained three plus boldness for doing so of your own. You are bold as fuck, girl. Heck yeah. <laughs> if not, you know. I need this frolic. <laughs> you are lacking in boldness, my good sir. But at least you're rich. <laughs> I'm rich. Right? My boldness is gone. Let me go outdoor. No, well, have we gone? Let me go to the gym. Wait, she's has bad, to the gym. <gasps> She's go, go buy some boldness from her. I don't know. I, I'm trying to go out with her. Good old Ace. What is going to be today? I want you, baby. I want you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, please. Please don't be the thing I think it is. I don't want that red thing to be what I think it is. What is... Oh, a tick? <laughs> <laughs> you know, forget all blood rituals or in case you're just a creep with unhealthy obsessions. Don't you dare ask me how I got this. I want this one. I need a I need a PR agent. <laughs> you need some help for that boldness. I ah, nothing better help. than the smell of money. Well, actually, there are many better smells, but you know what I mean, right? <laughs> nothing happened. Nothing happened. Where okay. Am I, where am I going? I'll probably come in to play like later. I hate Damien. I have tried to date him three times on purpose, and it didn't work out. Now I'm trying to avoid him, and here we are. <laughs> That's how it goes. Um, let's go to class. Good choice. Aww. That day, you learn a ton of spells that are cool as... Or, oh, wait, wait. That are all as cool as they are seemingly useless. A spell to renew sticker stickiness. A spell to turn chocolate and vanilla ice cream into vanilla and chocolate ice cream. A spell to gain plus two smarts. I need that. You actually use that spell, and you gain plus two smarts. <laughs> Scott strolled by, happily munching on something. Oh, well, Liam gapes at him, appalled. Man, Liam isn't everything. What no. on earth are you eating, Scott? Oi, this delicious new flavor of Fangos potato chips. Maximum ultimate double barbecue massacre. Really a mouthful. Really? Because it looks like a raw severed goat head inside a cardboard tube. Oi. Yeah, I guess it does. Could have sworn it was a potato chip. Still tasty, though. Tasty? Tasty? Does wanton environmental destruction sound tasty to you? I don't know. Is that kind of a jerky? No, Scott. Don't you realize that in order to harvest these goat heads, fangos and code decapitate millions of innocent goats every year? Mm. Mm. 
Oh, he is a vegan. But oh, what do they do with the bodies of the goats? Nothing. It's a horrendously wasteful practice. Oh, no. All oh, those poor headless goats' bodies running around and bumping into things. We have to stop them. <laughs> Love him. Wait, really? <laughs> just trying to make you feel guilty. Sorry. I didn't actually have a plan of action, but if someone were to suggest one. Come on, everyone, help. Oh, God. Is no! I did go to or write an extremely mean blog post. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I don't know which is the correct answer here. What? Uh, I like that. I like the idea of an army of vegetable undead goat torso. That's my girl. <laughs> it's probably not the right one, but I'm going to go for that one. I, I don't think, think either of them is technically right. It's just... Okie dokie. Let's see what happens. Oh, no. Oh, start! <laughs> Necromancy, the ultimate tool in the protesters' arsenal. Oh, oh, get right the goat, can I, huh? Yes. Of course you can write a goat. In fact, given your size, you'll probably need to write several. What? What's a several? Is it a really big goat? Oh, no. Oh, no time to explain. Basic concept, Scott. We can't an invasion to orchestrate. As long as you're reanimating things, you reanimate some severed goat heads too. They'll eat anything, which totally helps you clean your room. You gain plus two creativity and plus one smart. Can I get that okay. in real life? Yeah. I want um, some Way like to Ringo. Ooh, uh, let's go to... Let me go to the bathrooms. Let me see what happens. Here. Please. That day, you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. But you don't stop there. You want the world to know how reckless you are for the rest of eternity. So you do some graffiti on the wall. No way. The graffiti says, I'm bold as fuck. And you know what? <laughs> it turns out the wall is magical. Wall that grants wishes. What a wall. A deep voice resounds from within the wall and says, well, not bold as fuck, but maybe a bit bold. And then you gain plus two boldness. Well, oh boy. Well, that's enigma. That's an opinionated wall. Anyway, lucky you. That's my bathroom. <laughs> In the middle of everything, a portal opens up and swallows Vera, Polly, and Leo. You dive in to rescue them and straight into the sea. Oh, this is not me. Who is Although he? I, can, I guess I guess I can I guess I can voice him. The season finale of the interdimensional bachelor. Whoa. Good lord. Help! I'm in danger of spraining my eyes from rolling them so hard. Oh, shit. oh my god! We're on a game show? <laughs> yes, indeed! Tonight, you three will have a series of trivial... It's I a mean, fucking wizard? <laughs> ...trivia questions. Whoever gets the most points becomes my... I'm gonna win! I don't even care what the prize is! <laughs> Your what? Your wife? What a revolting premise. So what you're saying we're supposed to respond to a series of questions and scenarios. Our answers to which will make us more or less likely to achieve a romantic outcome with you? That's extremely problematic. I can't think of anyone who would ever want to play such a pause dating game. Raising reasonable concerns so I can hear the first question. <laughs> That's the spirit. Question number one Describe your ideal marriage proposal. But before Polly can answer, you buzz in yourself. Now's your chance to give an answer that will end the competition and send the prince packing. My grandmother's wedding ring still attached to my naked grandmother. John Hinge's beer, beer pours out. Jesus. I 
present you with my grandmother's wedding ring. Okay. You'd give me your own grandmother as an engagement gift? How heartless. Do you really take your family that much for granted? But do you have piles of grandmothers cluttering up your house? Sure do. <laughs> and why is she naked? Does she consent to this? Or are you stripping your grandmother naked and then trading her and her jewelry for a sham marriage? I resent the implication that a marriage to me would be a shame and be otherwise. I agree. Next contestant, ideal proposal, go. Ooh, suicide pact! Suicide pact! I did the thing where I dropped a ring in the champagne glass, except instead of a ring, it's poison. The ring is the poison? <laughs> Not the champagne? That's so romantic. <laughs> um... All right, let's uh let's take a commercial break and be back after these. These messages. two ladies are getting it on, right? <laughs> the prince apparently not into suicide packs kicks you all out of his dimension and Aww. vanishes. Technically, you accomplish your goal, but now all of your friends think you're a grandma abuser. <laughs> you lose negative two fun and negative one charm. That's great places. Everybody chooses something cool. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. I see. Okay. Teleportation device? Gift of flight. Ooh. Dogs are cool. Dogs are pretty cool. I can't wait to see what this debate is about to be. <laughs> Player order is decided based on how cool it would be if a hundred years from now humankind built a 200 foot statue commemorating the selected thing. Oh, dog eagles. Dog. Dog. <laughs> dog. <laughs> we go in doggy. <laughs> not, okay, you're not. You're, you're, you're losing cool points here, dude. <sighs> Who is? Why? We don't even have cool points. Who goes second? Pretty high in boldness right now, though. I don't know. I think any has a beat at like 16. It's like 13 or 16. It's 16. <laughs> I chose ice. So that's basically a giant snowman. It's already been done. But a 200 foot statue? Of a snowman? What did That's you a think? stone man. Window? That's a statue. What or of the gift of flight? Yeah. Know, a flying statue? Flying 200 foot statue? That's a plane. It's 100 years from now. <laughs> there's, no more, like, there's no more snow. There's no more ice. So, like, it'd that's be snow. pretty cool if there's a 200 foot statue commemorating ice. It's a giant nice pun. stone block. Let's pick you up. Okay, I'm gonna Ice go with doesn't exist, now. but we're gonna make a 200 foot statue of it. I'm gonna go Ringo <laughs> and then I'm gonna go me. Played. <laughs> oh, noob. I thought that said noob. <laughs> All right, where to? Where am I going? Um, I don't. Have we met the middle guy? Like the guy nope. in the middle? No, okay. he's new. He looks like a troll. <laughs> new kid. Yeah, he's I, I want to do the middle seat. You're about to dig it to a delicious, uh, sorry, a delicious bowl of beef <laughs> when you see the wolf pack across the table, pointing at you. Panting. Oh, painting. Panting. I said pointing. Sorry. Uh, so cute. Anybody wants to go after him? Yo, dog. Can we have some of that beefy J you got there? We love meat that have been jerked. Uh, do you know? Tell me more. <laughs> Um, hold on, I'm regretting this. Come on, <laughs> we'll totally trade you anything from our lunch. You can have this dead fairy, what? or just have you <laughs> telephone receiver, or... Well, one of them is talking, the other just, just straight up eat your beef jerky. You hit their noses with a newspaper, but it's too late. Why am I carrying a <laughs> Whoops, guess we gotta trade after all, huh? Which of our foods do you want, dog? 
plastic bottle labeled seriously don't drink this if you're <laughs> poison or nothing give me my beef jerky back now if you reach um, down its neck and just go like mine <laughs> <laughs> um so why is he carrying around something that says don't drink this it's poison it's good question hey don't question it <laughs> um I guess I'll take the poison the not poison oh. or the the I'll take the poison. Oh, you know. Ooh, is that what it says? We found it in a garbage bin with a skull and crossbones on it. Bones are good to eat, so we took it. Is this gonna force me to drink it? But if that's the only thing you want, I guess you can have it. I want my beef jerky, but that's already gone. <laughs> you don't give them time to change their mind. You reach across the table, snatch, and... Why am I drinking it? Why am I drinking it? On the TV news that night, you learned that after drinking the elixir, you went on a bit of a rampage. Uh -huh. Specifically, That's new. you declared the cafeteria a sovereign state and abolished all laws except for party forever. Why am I addicted to dancing? Your government was soon overthrown by the National Guard, but you've been nominated for the Nobel Prize for partying. You gain plus four fun. So Where to Enigma? Uh, top left. This one? Mm -hmm. Le oh, no, this left. one? Left. This one. Left. This one. The mermaid. <laughs> the mermaid? Yes, please. Okay. I was trying to find the voice actors for this because I want to remember which one That's the game goes to. <laughs> The table you chose is quite crowded. Liam sits across from Miranda, who is flanked by two well-dressed servants. One of the servants cuts a slice of Salisbury steak and feeds it to the other. Seriously, Miranda, you have servants to chew your food for you. It's not. That would be barbaric. Oh, the servant <laughs> half always follows a Salisbury steak. Enigma? I have servants to eat for me. They're called eating serfs. Don't you have any? First of all, no, I don't eat food. Second of all, that totally defeats the purpose of eating. Aren't you worried about starving? Why would I be? My serfs get all the calories they need to stay fit and healthy. Wow. Here's a dits. Mm-hmm. Ugh. I have no objective reason to care about this, but suddenly it's all I care about. Someone, convince Miranda to stop this madness. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should start this madness, Liam. Imagine all the food you could take pictures of without having to eat any of it. But Miranda, look at the content smile on that servant's face. You think he's eating free, but secretly he's... Oh, turn them on each other. Mm. Mm. I the feel bottom like I'm, one. I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm leading here. towards Liam okay, okay. and Miranda's store. Like... I feel like I'm going to end up with one of them to this prompt. So let's see. There you go. No, it can't be. Gordo, say it isn't true. But Gordo can't say anything because it's not <laughs> a full of delicious Salisbury steak. Salisbury steak, which he is obviously eating entirely for his own benefit. Traitorous dog, do you want me to starve to death? Is that your plan? I think maybe he was just taking advantage of the fact that you don't understand how food works. Taking advantage of me? Scoundrel. Burpee, eat Gordo for me at once. <laughs> <laughs> the two serves look at each other, then stuff as much food as they can into their mouths before fleeing the cafeteria. Alas, how will I ever get my recommended daily allowance of nutrients now? You could try eating. Um, Myself? But, ow. You and Liam have a ton of fun laughing at Miranda as she learns how to eat food for apparently the first time in her life. She's made it this far. <laughs> like, I mean, Ringo? 
Ooh, uh, ghost and werewolf. You find Polly and Scott huddled at your chosen table. If these two are together, it can only be it can only mean one thing. Okay. I hereby call this meeting of the prank masters to order. Not where I prank think I'm masters, prank. how present and accounted for. Chairman Geist, all dressed up and ready to prank. Hey, how come you get to get? I'm oh, sorry. Hey, how come you get to be a chairman? Well, which one of us can throw chairs around the room with our ghost powers? Oi, well, I don't have ghost powers, so oi, you, I get it, chairman, but. No time to argue, Scott. We've got to come up with a ball or food prank before the end of lunch. Oh, yeah. Okay, what if we ate all our food like a good boy? Is is that a prank? No, Scott. For the last time, that's not a prank. And I don't eat. Stop it. I <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm having trouble coming up with another idea. Anybody else? You have been waiting all of your life for an opportunity like this. <laughs> you propose the ultimate food prank. <laughs> I like both options so much. <laughs> Place all the food with chairs. That's, That's your choice? choice? Yep. Okay. <laughs> yes! You know what they say, when life gives you chairs, do pranks with the chairs. I mean, we're going to ignore <laughs> half of that with squeaky toy. <laughs> but I've never heard a ghost say that. Doesn't it sound like the kind of thing you would say, though? Yeah, it, it kind of does. How am I supposed to help, though? You're the charman. Easy, Scott. Oh, Just be a chair. Oi, of course. Scott twists himself into an uncomfortable looking shape. He seems happy though. Like this. Your face? Exactly like that. Now up you go. Wee, does this make me a chairman? Uh -huh. Sure, totally. Give me the toy. <laughs> Polly doesn't seem to mind sharing her title with Scott or her affection with you. Prank achieved. Boy, I'm gonna fuck people on that. No, don't growl at me. I still have money, don't I? Yeah. Yes. I'm going to one more time. Hey, stranger. It's been a while. I've missed you. It's okay. You can look at my stuff. I'm slowly getting her. I'm slowly getting her. You're her sugar daddy, I mean, it's fine. Yeah, I was gonna say, for all you know, she's just taking your money. <laughs> Uh, but she gave you I, the money. She gave you the lottery ticket. That's I'm true. gonna get pulled out of my chair. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna choose this one. It's 4 30 in the I morning. I remember the Fresh Riddle Shop Club. No refunds. Everybody chooses an occupation. Say so your choice had lied by the rest of the players before. Oh, it's about to be 3 30. Mortician. Driver. <laughs> oh, please. No, no. I think Eddie wins this one. Yeah, she wins it. <laughs> oh. I didn't even say what I... I didn't even say mine. Yeah, no. I totally forgot what the question was. You're supposed Just to do the question and then you click, but it's okay. Picking order. So, let's just go... Down the lane. I'm gonna fight you. We're almost there. Yeah, because the last one is like the end of it, right? I Depends on how many weeks we chose. I only the chose one Nancy, week, so. Okay. Oh, it's me again? Yes. Bathrooms. Damien always follows me anyway. <laughs> On that day, you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. On the way there, you run into Mommy and the... No, Mommy. 
My Mimi, the Oni girl, she offers you some of her weird Japanese energy drink. You take a sip. It takes it tastes crazy as hell. You need to check the contents of this shit. Grana seed extract, benzo acid, acid, 50 milligrams of caffeine and 100 milligrams of boldness? I need that. Yeah. Well, it wasn't bad at all. You gain plus two boldness. Thanks, Mami Me. And proceed to the bathrooms. Dot and Vera shoulder each other out of the way to try and get to you first. Please, now I have two of you? I guess so. Oi, heard Damien talking about he's going to beat you up at prom. Yeah, mess him up. What? Hey, I don't believe in gratuitous violence. I'm a werewolf. In which case, one time I ate a kindergarten. Wait, were you also a kindergarten? You're right, Scott. I should look into this upcoming carnage and think of a way to monetize it. I heard Polly saying Damien was giving away free tickets to watch him skinning Enigma alive. Such a lack of business perspective is discouraging. Hey, yo. That's not nice. Why haven't I received free tickets? <laughs> Maybe the not so nice part is the part about you being skinned alive. Anyway, Enigma, what are you doing about this? Might I interest you in some Oberlin life insurance? This might be a good time to get a policy. Yeah, Enigma. What are you going to do about this? Won't you with free tickets to watch Damien skin you alive? Don't be rude, bro. That's a good question. What are you going to do about this? Seems like you're pretty screwed, but maybe if you play your cards right, you can convince one of these two to teach you how to fight. Go with the top one. Okie dokie. So wealthy. Hmm. I mean, I don't even need your money, but I like when other people give it to me. Kind of amazing. Jesus. Okay, I'll train you. Anyway, I can place bets in your favor and make lots of money by rooting for the underdog. Whoa, bro. Vera is actually super good at fighting. She clearly bringing you from me underdog to overdog. Yes. Prepare to get really fierce and really nasty. After that, you have a very cool training montage where you learn a lot of dirty tricks, <laughs> like throwing sand on your opponent's eyes <laughs> and hiding a bowie knife up your sleeve. Now you feel ready to face stupid sexy Damien in the prom fight on prom night. It will be bloody. Oh, yay, yeah, more boldness. boldness. And Damn. plus one smarts. Onyx. So bold. Where would you want to go? Oh, look how fun you are. I'm pretty fun, man. So all that dancing is starting to pay off. <laughs> I guess... Auditorium? That day, <laughs> while rehearsing for the class play, you do a terrific job at acting. You act so hard that some of your classmates in the audience throw roses at you. Seven roses, to be exact. Damn, roses aren't a valid currency or stat in this game. Anyway, you check your, oh. your converter app to see if this could translate into something a bit more useful. Hmm. It seems seven roses equals two creativity points. Sweet! You gain two plus creativity points. You were casually reading the latest issue of Monster Magazine when you are rudely interrupted. See, even Onyx, a sensible monster with a good head on her shoulders and at least some plus smarts, is reading Monster Magazine. Oi, that's bad, because we're warriors, so we need to fight. Scott takes a magazine from you and punches it. Hooray! Let's go solve another world's major problems! No, Scott, we're social, we're social justice warriors. You see, 
Onyx, ever since our major success with the Fangos Goldhead debacle, we've taken it upon ourselves to stand up against injustice. By punching magazines. No, Scott. As you no doubt noticed, Monster Magazine's sexiest monster alive this year is Count Victor von Musselbord, the werewolf prince slash bodybuilder. That makes him the fifth royal werewolf bodybuilder in a row to earn the title. What about those of us with leaner physiques? What of our reputation? So now we're endeavoring to get Monster Magazine to name someone from a more marginalized community as their sexiest creature alive. We just need to figure out a way to convince them, since I guess punching the magazine wasn't good enough. No, my magazine did not deserve that. Psh, that's easy. All I need to do is solve everyone's body image issues forever. Is... Squeaking is distracting. I'm trying to find my charges to charge my, my 